what is perseverance? Actually, perseverance is leading from the righteous. It's moving towards the characteristics of a given. Peter shows us a little bit how faithfulness and fidelity leads forth in godly love. What is godly love? Comparison to brotherly love? Well, you can look at Filios, Agape, Eros that we end up seeing, but when we actually look towards where it's given from, patriarchs, furthermore than that, from David, Saul, they have a new way of looking at love. They know that it is brotherly love, but they bring it into the marriage relationship. That's the way that we end up seeing when we look towards Christ. Christ gives you this eternal certainty to the Lord. But because of that, Christ is indebted to you. When we serve the Lord, the Lord works for us. He opens doors that otherwise would be closed. And because of that, we have such a spiritual blessing. It is connected with the spirit of the living God. Jesus uses it. He says, the wealth of the That ability, not the life that God gives us, it connects us one and the same. We are coming together as a nation, as a people, and because of that prosperity, it is not simply to have that filius, it is not simply agape, it's not simply eros, it's all, you get to have all, and actually everything, it is mayor, mayor, the blessings that he gives us, that we end up having the world for more. he had of course, poly in the Greek, but to connect with him, why I love is that differential, it is the polymer, it is the value. It is the essence and the goal, the spiritual perfection. Everything coming together because of love. When you love the Lord, then you have everything. All we have to do is keep our eye on the goal that Jesus is that salvation. And when I feel that every day, you are in the elect, 144,000 chosen of all time, called to represent, to give the gospel of Christ, to have that life. When you call to the Lord, Something happens in the spirit. It's no longer that you're under the table. You're on top of it. You have that light, and you shine it forth into all nations. That blessing is the blessing of our Creator, the blessing of the Lord God, and the blessing that I want to share with you today. And every day, my prayer for you is to take the Word of God, take that blessing, and share it with all of Look towards a new future, hope, peace, and love, and know that you have. You have everything. It's the key into creation, the key to hope, the key to love, the key to knowing God. When you build forth that personal relationship with the Creator, you see greatness, you see love, the duality of nature, and also the very forgiveness and pardon for sin and evil to lead us away from darkness and to take us into light and show us that love. God give all things to those who love you. So love God with all of your heart, with all of your mind, with all of your soul. You know that Jesus is there with you. You are one and the same connected with the Creator. When you build that personal relationship with the Lord, you're going to open up a new opportunity. God is going to build you into something amazing. And it's going to open the eyes and the ears of others all around the world. Take that love, build it create a new future with Christ. My message is simple. It's really so simple. Jesus is Lord. I pray that you receive that, that you affirm that every day. And I say with me, Jesus is Lord. Believe it. Receive it. God bless. God bless America. And I'll see you.